So we're going to get started. I know a couple of people are going to be trickling in. Um, just once again, this will be recorded and put up on our YouTube channel later today. I will be sending it out to the roster as well. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat and um, we'll kind of do a little Q&A at the end of this. But um, here's, here's what's going on. We um, have our new commission processing system. Um, it allows for us to have real-time data about our caps and our royalties. Um, and it allows us a little bit more streamlined process and processing your commissions in the back end. Um, so that's going to really like help our MCA's office be more efficient for you. So there is a few little unique things on the agent side of it that we're going to talk about today. Um, and just to be transparent, there is one little bug we're working through. So there's a little extra step that I'm going to have everybody do if you're entering your listings into command as well. So we'll walk through all of that together. Okay. So first I'm going to go to our opportunities. So I'm just going to jump in like we have an accepted offer already. Um, the creating of the opportunity has is still the same. Nothing's changed there. It's strictly this offers and commissions tab. Work in my listing here. Okay, so um, offers and commissions. Now you probably have synced your listing to um, the MLS and that's fine. But right now there's a little bit of a bug. And so when we enter in our listings into um, the commissions page, we actually have to do one extra step, which is manually entering our listing into the system, okay? Um, if you try to sync this with the MLS listing, you're probably going to get an error right now. However, if you manually enter in the listing and then sync your offer to that listing, it should work just fine for you. So before we start this offer on this opportunity, which is my listing, I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side and click on this listings button, which is the second from the bottom. It looks like a listing sign. So you should see all your listings. Um, if you don't, you can use this button that says sync my MLS and sync up your MLS feed. Um, what There might be a few little um, hiccups with that, but I would give it a shot as well. Um, if you're having any trouble, please send me an email um, so I can help you troubleshoot it. But for the purposes of this training, I want to put my listing in. So I'm going to hit create new listing on the top right. This is going to be a market center exclusive. So the, um, what KWRI has done is they've developed a way for us to put in market center exclusive listings. So these are listings that wouldn't be on the MLS or our single party listings um, so that we can get those commissions entered and also like create a internal um, listing network. So for right now, when you have a listing, um, whether or not it's on the MLS, you're gonna need to take this step to process that commission. And hit next. And then I'm gonna agree to these rules. The next is gonna be who can see this listing. Go ahead and select all KW agents in my market center. Um, I think that just makes it a little bit easier for you to find it as well. And you can click go to next step on the top right. So then you're gonna input the information about this listing. Because we're just doing this because of a commission, keep it very basic and only enter in anything that has the little red asterisk next to it. So under listing category, I'm gonna go for sale. The listing status is active. The property type is residential. The subtype is single family detached home. Um, these dates don't really matter. Don't get too hung up on them. The internal expiration date always goes 30 days out, um, which is the max. You can always make it sooner. And the agreement date is when your date with the seller expires. Um, you are probably already have an accepted offer. You're going to close in 30 days. If you want to put it out 30 days, you can do that as well. Or you can put it the actual listing contract date if you'd like. The list date's always going to be today. You can't go back in time, so don't worry about that. Up next um, should just be your market center. So um, you should have just your one market center from the drop down here. And then you can hit go to next step. So we're going to enter in our price. 
And just so everybody knows, I'm making this up with my own house. And then the street address. And you should be able to find it as you're typing it in by the power of Google. Do not hide the street address so that you know which property it is when you go to look for it. You can hit go to next step. You do not have to enter in any photos or any media because again, this is just a process of commission. You're not actually like marketing it inside of command here. And then you can hit go to next step. Okay, here's my, I'm, I'm gonna let, let you, you can go. verify the information and then um, just hit create listing at the top. Okay, so this is now my listing that I'm selling that I needed to enter in here manually in order to process that commission. Okay, so now I can go back to my opportunities. I can now go back into the listing opportunity that I want to process the commission for. And now we can go into our offers and commissions tab and start to work on our offer. Okay. But for right now, it's really important that you could get that listing entered in manually. Again, this is just on listing sides. So you won't have to do this for the buy side. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is click add new offer. And if you haven't been in here yet, this is much more streamlined than it used to be. Um, so we used to have to click through like four different pages to put in all the information for an offer. Now it's all just on this one single page. So again, we can just leave this name defaulted to initial offer. You can change that if you'd like. And now it does default that property address, but we need to select a different listing. So we need to hit the select from KWLS. And we're looking for the listing that we just created. Okay, so you can see this is the one that I created on 617 for this property, and then I can hit select. Okay, I know it doesn't look like anything changed, yeah. but on the back end, it really has. Okay, so we'll see if we can figure this out. Oh, okay. Hi, if we can mute, thank you. She's so customized. All of these. Put in. Hi, Lindy, can you mute for me? Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so now we need to go through the rest of these boxes. So property type is residential, classification is a resale. Total units, so for you, for whichever side you're on, your units is one, okay? This is a transaction, so one full unit. We do have to in, enter in a buyer name. You don't have to put the Cobrokes information, but we would like it. Um, so if you do have that Cobroke, you can add it in as well. Um, we really only need the buyer's last name. If you know their first name, great. Um, it just, this really helps us when we get that um, closing statement and commission check in to be able to match it to the opportunity, make sure we're paying the right check to the right opportunity, okay? Terms of the offer, so the sales price. Oops. And then the amount cash and the amount finance. Um, you can put the just the earnest money amount if you know that. You can put the earnest money and the down payment. It's it's a full cash offer. You can put, you know, how much cash it is, right? And then the contract date and the closing date. So contract date, we went under contract on June 9th. My closing date is gonna be, I don't know, July 3rd. That's how we do it, pretty quick turnarounds. And then now we can hit create and accept offer. So as you've gone through these, if you've gotten any errors, I want you to go back and watch this video and follow those steps again. Um, because most likely what it is is that you might've created the listing, but you didn't select it then in the offer, or maybe you were having trouble creating the listing. Okay, so you have to create the listing first and then go and do your offer and then make sure you select that specific listing that you just created to attach to the offer. And once you do that, you should be able to get straight into this commission page. Okay. Now your commission page is looking a little bit different than it did in the past. Um, you now have these three sections over here on the left hand side. So your first one is the commission overview. Again, we're just verifying that the, the um, offer price is there, the contract date, the closing date are all right there. Okay, if you need to change anything, you could hit general, edit general information and update it. 
The middle section is the commission information. Okay, so think about this as that check that we receive at closing. Okay, this is that the gross amount that's coming to the market center. Okay, so my commission is 3.6% because I took a 6% listing and gave 2.4 to the co broke. Okay, now bonuses. So if you take, let's say 6% plus 495, we're going to enter in that $495 as a bonus on that commission. And we can do it right here by clicking this edit listing commission button. Okay. So we can add a bonus. Total bonus is 495 and we can hit save. Now we got a few errors on that page and I'm gonna tell you why um, in just a second. This commission um, middle section here is also where we can add that outside referral. So if we need to pay 25% right off the top, we can do that and it'll automatically um, calculate the amount that that referral is owed. We're gonna go through and fill out the referral information just like we would in the past with the name, the phone number, um, and then the tax ID number, the EIN. So make sure you get those W9s from your referral partners and you'll have that EIN number. Address all that information. So this tells us who and where to send that referral check to and the amount that we're gonna be paying out that referral. Okay. The next is the agent payment. Now, because um, I'm technically not an agent, I don't have any payment information here. Yours should default with your information here under agent payment, but you can always add another agent. So maybe if you're a team, and you're splitting this amongst several agents, this is where you do it in the agent payment section. So I'm just gonna choose, um, yeah, we're just gonna choose her. Nicole Osaki, she's gonna be my agent for this. <laughs> Hope she watches this. Um, so she's gonna get the one unit. So do you see how it, it changed from one unit left to distribute to no units left to distribute? So it's, you gotta think of this as, the commission information section, that middle section is the money coming in. The agent payment information is telling us how to disperse the money that came in, right? So if you're splitting this amongst several agents, maybe they're splitting at 50-50, right? We can say a half unit to Nicole and it's gonna say, whoa, there's a half unit left to distribute, meaning you're gonna have to add a second agent to have the other half a unit. Does that make sense? Now I'm gonna warn you is that um, the units, and the commission are no longer tied together. So you can have one unit on this agent, but in the agent gross commission, you might not bill out all the commissions. So there might be some commission left to distribute. So you are going to have to calculate if you're evenly distributing units to commission, you'll have to manually calculate that amount and make sure it's correct. So otherwise, this is just one agent who's receiving this information, so or this commission, so she's gonna get one unit. Now here, this bonus, remember we said that she took a 495 bonus um, from her sellers, right? So she did 6% plus 495 on her listing agreement. She then gets to get that bonus of $495. So again, with teams, you might split those bonuses a little bit differently amongst your team agents. This is how you can do it as well. Then the last thing is deductions. So um, you might have automatically a 295 deduction in here for the BAC fee on listings. If you don't, that's fine. You can just scroll all the way to the bottom and hit add deduction, okay? There's already some pre-approved deductions in this dropdown list. So it could be for um, transaction management, um, we see we have like the launch or the PC program deduction. So if you're needing to take the 10% for those transact or um, if you need to take the 10% for your PC program, your launch program, you can do that right here really easily. And you're not going to have to calculate the dollar amount. It's going to automatically do that as well. Okay. So I'm in the Milwaukee Southwest account, the Milwaukee North Shore account might have a few different options under this deduction. You're looking for that BAC fee on your listings to take the 295 deduction, okay?
If you wanted to contribute to any of the nonprofits, the KW Cares or the KW Next Gen, you could do that here. And then when you feel like this is all paid out, you don't have any of those little red errors anymore, you can hit save. So the whole goal is to make this money coming in on the middle section of commission information equal to the money paying out of the agent payment section. So if this the agent payment doesn't equal the commission information, you might get an error when you try to submit. Okay. So that's really important for teams just to make sure you understand that the agent payment section has to equal the commission information section in order for you to be able to submit it. All right, let's do a buyer side so we can see what that one looks like, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my sales pipeline. I'm gonna to go to my buyers. So this one, I'm just gonna go into offers and commissions. I'm gonna go ahead and click add new offer. And this will let me select from the KWLS. So I can either do one of the listings that I've created if maybe I'm doing both sides of the deal, or you can search, um, you can change this from show only my listings to show all listings. And then you can search for that MLS street address, whatever you need to, to get to that MLS listing for your buyer. So again, you're gonna go through here, the property type. One unit for one unit on the buy side. Again, you're gonna need the seller's last name and the seller's agent, the price, how much cash they're putting down, the contract date, and the closing date. And then create and accept offer. And then we're back into the commission page. So the, um, you know, the, the listing side is definitely more complex. The buyer side shouldn't give you any hassle. Um, just make sure that again, this commission information in the middle matches your agent payment information at the bottom before you submit, or it's probably not gonna let you, okay? All right, um, uh, that's about all I had. So I'm gonna open it up for questions. Um, I know people have been getting errors. And so if you guys wanna shout out a few of what you're seeing, what's happening out there, um, I can show you some more things. Um, I have a question. So the other day I was um, processing a listing and we are a team. So I put in Melina's information. I put in Holly's information and it looks like the 295 fee is coming off of both of their commissions. Um, and it should just be coming off of one. Is there a way to remove it off of one of the agents? Um, so I, I believe um, Jen has changed that for North Shore and it won't have any deduction moving forward. She will catch that on the back end. Um, mm -hmm. I would say just to maybe put a note right here in the commission section that just says, please remove 295 from so-and-so. Um, okay. And then know that the next one you do, you probably won't see that deduction automatically show up. So you're gonna have to like manually enter it in. So make sure you're aware of that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, so a licensed admin is an external outside referral. Um, your licensed admin should have their own W-9, so um, you'll need to have that W-9, and then you're gonna put it in as an outside referral. So um, let's just say you're giving 15% you know, referral, who is it going to? Um, and then their tax information, most likely they don't have an EIN, you're just using their social security number. So you're gonna to wanna to toggle that. And then you're still gonna to wanna to put in as all this information that you can. So um, an unlicensed admin can still, re or a, a licensed admin who's a non-agent can still receive a referral. Um, it's just gonna to need to be put in as a um, 
outside referral. Um, unlicensed admin cannot receive referrals, just FYI, that's like the state law. Yeah, okay, so this is um, this is a good one, Colleen. Thanks for bringing this up. Um, so there may be, um, if you did an opportunity, let's say like three weeks ago and you did an offer, you can't really use that anymore unless you had submitted it before the blackout. So when you come into your opportunity, um, best practice is to delete out any of these old offers. Um, so if you come into offers commissions, um, the new system automatically takes us into managed commission, but right here at the top, we can toggle back to offers and commissions. And then right over here on the right-hand side, um, we can hit change response. So if, if you've accepted the offer, you can change the response and then you can um, remove it using these three dots. If you never accepted the offer, then you can just hit this remove offer button and get rid of it. Um, if, you're, if you have been like entering in a couple of offers into the same opportunity because you're like getting error messages and you're trying to work through it, please, please, please go through and delete all those other offers. Um, it just makes the system think a little bit nicer. So um, that's how you can delete these older offers out of here. And then you should be able to then create a new one. So right now, what I can do is I can hit um, change response. Do you still want to? Yes. So basically I rejected this offer and now I can hit those three dots and hit remove offer. Cleaned up my opportunity. So now I can go back in once it refreshes here and hit add new offer and do the process again. Kathleen, mine doesn't have um, either of those options. So it won't let me do the three dots to remove and it doesn't have a change offer. It's just all grayed out. So I don't know if I have to completely like archive the whole opportunity and start over. Um, Colleen, can you email me your login information and which opportunity and I'll jump in there and I'll take a look for you, okay? Of course, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. All right, what other questions or weird things are you guys experiencing? Any team issues out there? Um, I have a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm echoing. Um, can you explain again why we have to um, manually input the listing if it's already linked to the opportunity? Yeah, it's a bug that we're working through. There's some sort of issue with our market centers and the connection to the MLS. So although you can, um, I'll just back out of a buyer side and go into a listing side here. So although in an opportunity, um, you might be able to select it up here, for some reason, when you get into that offer page, it's like it's not pulling it anymore but it will pull ones that we manually enter. So um, this should just be a temporary extra step that we're having to do on the listings. We've been working with um, the regional and Austin teams to try to figure out why this connection's not holding, I guess. <laughs> and then um, you said we don't have to do that for the buyer side, correct? Correct, the buyer side, you should be able to just select it from the MLS and it should work just fine. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. What other questions do you guys have? Um, I have a couple of workflow sheets that I'm gonna send out to the roster with the um, recording of this training today. So there'll be a few like step-by-step -step PDFs that might um, just help you a little bit with like manually entering this listing and then doing the offers and commissions tab. Um, if you have any questions about your deductions, feel free to reach out to me or your MCA's office. We can work through those with you. Um, and any other like unique things that you run into, please, please feel, you know, like, please reach out to us, me, Lindsay, your MCA's office, we're all here to help. Um, we've been learning this alongside you. So everything I've shown you today, I've learned in the last 
four days. <laughs> um, but we're we're trying really hard to just make this as seamless as possible for you guys and um, work out any of those kinks that you might be seeing. So any questions or anything? Otherwise, um, I'll let you go. Thank you.